Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 9 and 10 of Saki the Nationals. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. So, what do you do? Already, damn. You want to do another one just in case? <laughs> no, don't cry. Never mind, she's already crying.
She seems very more relaxed than she was a couple of minutes ago. You get through pretty much anything. But something tells me she's not going to go down without a fight. Let's see, look at that smirk. That's one. I wouldn't want to be playing with her. Mm-mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, indeed. Good game. And that's all up to Saki with them last views. Oh, it's okay. Something tells me she gonna bring the points back. Still been asleep this whole entire time. <laughs> yeah, go say hi to your girlfriend one more time before you go. No. <laughs> She's a lot more confident on this, and especially you hear it in her voice, but still at the same time, because if you go to older seasons, season one, season two, or part one and part two, especially because it is Rin's voice actress, you don't hear her, you hear cute softness. You don't hear cute softness right now. That's a confident bitch right there, and I love it. Because of who she going against. Mm hmm Waiting for Saki.
God dang, you're already this girl going in. I mean, damn, but I get it. There's a lot riding on this match. And honestly, none of them can make mistakes on this. Because one wrong move, like... <laughs> That's it. But see, hold on, like, you've already attacked several times, so, I mean, wouldn't you want to change to at least a defense? Hmm. You're playing into her hand every single time you do something. But it, with her, I don't think it is. Got you again.
Think about that. But she's still gonna get you. That's now four. Girl. That is creepy. My thing is, how in the world are you going to make sure slash defeat and beat this girl right here when it seems like she's always one step ahead of you? She knows your every freaking move. There's no way in hell. Mm -mm. No freaking way in hell. What the heck? I'll look at that in a sec. But yeah, 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 yeah. Something about that, like... You would think each girl's like distinct play style is unique. And it's strictly to them, but hers, especially with the fact that she, it's like she's looking and predicting on which move it is, and then secretly when they declare a Ricci upon whatever, like she's already there for the winning and for the taking. Sad. Because that's when they start questioning everything. Like, you know, by the first time, they're like, oh, okay, harmful, fun. Mm -hmm, okay, let me try again. By the third time, they're like, what the heck do I need to do to get this girl off my butt? And apparently, you're not doing much because she is continuously on her. She's not on Saki, and I think it's because she knows Saki's, like, her aura and such. It's good, but mm-hmm. Girl. And it does make me wonder. With this last match before what the top eight, which we'll see in the final three episodes of the show. How is this going to conclude? And especially like because something tells me what it might end up being like is Episode 10 might have another partner with episode 11. So half of it, just like how with Nanaka's match was, excuse me, this episode was the last half of Nanaka's half in, of her match and then the first half of Saki's match. And so we're probably either going to see the conclusion of Saki's match or just it might be from episode 10 to 13, a uh, four part ending maybe i don't really know about that that's just like a random thing that i gotta put out there and such but it, it was very interesting i just do feel bad for this girl because i think you know i'll, I'll say it like this and, and in any sport once again we've all come in overconfident and think of we are the baddest of the baddest and such and then there's always that one person who will knock us down our like throne scale whatever and you're like oh Oh. And then everything changes. And you look at everything differently. Like, mmm, not good, babe. Not good. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. All right, episode 10 in three, two, one, go.
Damn, that felt like a very short break. <laughs> oh, the the opening was the break. <laughs> Go lay down. I'll get you something to eat after. Go. The way she also gives smooth criminal energy, bruh, <laughs> once again, you watch out for her. It is. Yeah, but the lights make it look like stars. That's pretty much in any city. Especially at nighttime. Girlfriends, yeah. huh? If you don't make your girlfriend proud, girl, I swear to God. Take your girlfriend to semifinals. So how do you not declare a reaching? That's the thing. Do you just do tempies for the whole entire time? But what if she can also do tempies? We haven't seen her do tempies yet. But see, she's doing that early.
course she's not. I mean, here's my thing. It's the last round before semifinals. So you think everybody was just going to play the same? Hell no. Central what Matt? Well, now you know. <laughs> you hungry? Me too. I'm gonna eat dinner after this. Your bread sounds good. Aww. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute to make her feel included. Oh. Oh. Knowing what you know, you'd be like, oh shit, like, damn. <laughs> and you're really short. Really? But we know she ends up joining the team, though.
Like the Florida. <laughs> hmm? You okay? What's wrong? So when do you want me to move over? No, oh. the working with open arms. I think it's more happy tears. Mm -hmm. And how many people do you have? Uh, wait, duh. There's your fifth. She doesn't know much, but she is willing to learn. No. <laughs> how are you able to understand that so quickly? The fact that it was all was spanned within a year. Nuts. Right? And you never would have met any of them. You would have just watched everything on television continuously. Never venturing out. Sometimes you're just at the right place at the right time.
Guessing you know she means business because she's taking the hat off. Yeah, she definitely means business. And of course, that's not good. Jesus. I feel like they had it the whole entire time. Yeah, I mean, of course, because we ain't seeing that until next week. We got a minute left. She about to, of course. This is kind of when, you know, also Saki is going to be using hers, but we're not going to see that until this next episode. The fact that this girl literally went from the bottom to the top. In the last, from a minute 18 to the end of this episode. What the fuck? Oh my god, I can't. In 24 hours. Maybe even a couple hours after. I'm going to be watching the last three episodes. I don't know how I'm going to feel after watching this and stuff. And seeing how this is going to end. We, we pray. 
We pray for Best Girl Saki, aka Rin, from the Fate series. Best Girl Rin. Also, Best Girl, Second Best Girl Yomiya. Well, nope. Third Best Girl Yomiya. Because I have too many. Because Ayaka's number one, and then Farina, and then Yomiya, and then Nivia, and everyone else. And then the Pretty Cure characters, because there are saying for Pretty Cure in, that game, in Genshin as well. But we are praying for Saki. To take my girlies to the not to to semifinals. That's all I want. Saki wants it. Everybody else wants it. I want it. It's gotta happen. She's got something up, up her sleeve. I just don't know why. I don't know how this is gonna conclude next week. Like seriously, this is really nerve wracking. Oh, I feel like this is more nerve-wracking than the freaking two episodes of freaking Ancient Madness Bride and JJK Season 2 combined. Especially, well, what the fuck is happening in Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2? I mean... God, well, no. I, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. this show hasn't made me go depressing. This show has made me lose my ish at times, where it's, especially when I finished. I didn't do it in video, but when I was sitting back and thinking about it and be like, what the fuck really happened in this damn episode in a nutshell? But truly, I am scared to see how this is officially going to conclude when I watch the final three episodes tomorrow because I I'm, I'm scared. I'm always going to be scared when we get to finales. And plus, it's a three-parter finale. And just... Uh, a lot is writing on this. I love the fact that, you know, Nadaka and Saki had not only one, but two different moments in both of the episodes. I love that the fact that they got to talk. Baby's got to talk and just, like, have a little moment together. I mean, seriously, because, duh, if you don't ship them, like, what is wrong with you? You have to ship Saki and Nadoka together. Duh. But, I don't know. I I'm, I'm stumped. I really, truly am stumped with how I feel with this episode both were good i love the fact that we got backstory on these group of girls with their school and the fact that yes they only really had three girls then um well i like to call it the tall girl and such who looks creepy as fuck she comes in you have four and then you know the exchange students like oh i want to learn too even though i'm quiet and shy and the fact is that was all within a year and to see how far they've all come holy shit that's all I gotta say about that. But we won't really know the conclusion until 12 episodes. I mean, 12 episodes. 12 to, no, 24 hours to about maybe 25 hours from now with everything else that I have to do tomorrow when I come home from work. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes 9 and 10 of Saki the Nationals. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else. And next Saturday for Patreons for the final three episodes concluding the show and everything else because there are a lot of things that i need to talk about really for patreons but patreons will find out next saturday when this comes out but until then i will see you guys all next time bye